We're looking at the Mowbray S36DA F84 float level switch. It comprises the float, the body, switch mechanism, and the end cap. It has uh, 316 stainless steel wet side. The housing is aluminium. The flange is the standard Mowbray A flange. And with this model, it's rated at a maximum pressure of 33.8 bar and a maximum temperature of 400 degrees C. If we look at the coding, S36. Well, that's a, a general purpose um, float level switch and um, with 316 stainless steel wet side. D is the four contact general purpose switch mechanism. This is for make and break circuits, two independent single pole, single throw contacts. A is for the housing, the aluminium housing. F84 is the float. Stainless steel, 316 stainless steel float. The principle of operation is magnetic repulsion. One permanent magnet forms part of the float assembly. Here's the float, here's the permanent magnet. In this case, south pole, north pole. A second permanent magnet is located within the switch mechanism here. Again, north pole, south pole. They're arranged so that like poles will face each other. Consequently, a change in liquid level here, you can see the float in the high level position, as that falls, this magnetic pole will face directly the same pole in the switch head me uh, mechanism through a non-magnetic diaphragm here. So we will have south pole facing a south pole and consequently the south pole in the switch head me uh, mechanism will be repelled and snap over. This causes the snap action operation in the switch mechanism. Switching is accom uh, accomplished by the angular movement of the switch magnet being used to operate push rods. These rods bear on the contact blades and break one set of contacts whilst allowing the other set to make. Let's look at the operation of the S36DA F84 float switch. I have one set of contacts connected to a multimeter. Yeah. Connected to the multimeter. And the multimeter shows that it is a closed circuit. If I move the position of the float so it goes from its low position, if I move it up to simulate a liquid level rising, there you could hear the switch snapping over, the magnets in repulsion snapping over. So if I leave it in that position, and now we look at the multimeter, you can see the multimeter has changed over to open circuit. A cable gland is supplied in the box with the S36 DAF84. It is a brass cable gland nickel plated with a fully insulated neoprene seal and with a clamping range to suit 8mm to 13mm OD cable. 